Hello, everybody. This is Darren and Mulqueen. I'm here with Kathy Brown. Hi, Kathy. Hey, Darren. We wanted to show you how to install the brand new Brother Lumineer XP1 Premium Pack 2 upgrade. Um, that was a lot of words all together. <laughs> um, we do have um, an exciting image here of the new sashing hoop. And um, this is a really cool tool that we'll be showing you down the road in another video um, how to take the magnets off with that. Um, and this is the glorious magnifier that will um, allow you to have either one lens for a certain uh, magnification or both of them for extreme magnification. So we're excited about this. It hooks right on the machine. And we notice that there are um, couching guides on it. So um, it does have, when you put it on your machine, which we'll show you down the road, um, it does have the guides for couching. And so once again, I'm going to move that box away. And Kathy Brown is going to show us what the upgrade box looks like. And that is. Ta da! Ta -da. This is the new uh, Luminaire XP1 Upgrade 2 packet. What you're going to get in this packet, it's very important when you open it to be sure you pull out everything. It's going to have some of the new stickers that you use to tell it where to stop sewing. You place those just like you would a snowman where you want it to stop sewing. And also then there's the activation card. Do not lose this activation card. It's like a little credit card, but it's very important because it has a special code on the back that will only be used for your machine. Okay? And what you're going to do, the first thing you want to do when you're going to do an upgrade is you want to check your machine to see what, what um, level your machine is at now. So you open up settings. Scroll to page 7, and this machine is at 2.04. This new upgrade has to be an update of 3.04. Where does it show the 2.04? Right here on the bottom, version 2.04. Okay, so you want to check that. The other thing while you're on this screen, it's going to ask you when you start the upgrade, so you might as well write it down now. It wants to know your machine number. This is your machine number. It's different than your serial number. It's different than any other number. It's your internal motor number. Write that number down so you will have it handy so when you start the upgrade, you don't have to come back and get it. All right, so I wrote ours down. On the These two will only work together, okay? And on that card, it shows the website, right? Or yes, you, yeah. uh huh. So when you open up your card, on the very front of the card, it tells you that you need to go to a special website. So you need to be online. So we're going to go online, and we're going to go to s. Dot Brother, probably going to pop up, uh, double slash KCPB, and that's on your card. And then when you hit enter, it's going to ask you your country or region. So we're going to say um, USA, Canada area. <laughs> and then it's going to ask you what language you want it in, and we're going to say uh, United States English. Now it's going to come up with two screens. One screen down here, it says Download Manual. That's going to be a manual and a des design guide and an operation manual. You can download those or print them out or save them on your computer. We did download them. And that's everything new that's in this machine and all the design guide and so the printout is everything that is added for this from this upgrade right right so you have it right at your fingertips to know what you're getting and how to use it all 
So you can print those out or you can save them and download them later or come back to them at any time you want. So I'm going to click back to top. Now it says certification procedure. So I'm going to click the certification. It's asking me there's two ways to install this. Is my machine connected to my own Wi-Fi system? If it is, there will be a little up here on the left of your screen, the very top left, you'll show a little exclamation mark if your machine is set up for your own Wi-Fi system at home. Then you can touch that and it would take you to the page and you could tell it to load it manually or you can uh, have it go and install it with a USB. If you're going to install it with a USB, you're going to come down here and say wireless LAN unavailable. Okay? And then what you're going to do, you're going to get the, check that you have the um, version 3.04. If you don't, it says get the latest. You definitely don't want to um, do an older version. Like you want to make sure you're always upgrading your machine to a newer version because you don't want to mess up anything. Well, all the functions won't work unless you, all the functions that you've purchased in your upgrade will not work unless you put that update in to coordinate with it. So now on this screen, it's asking me for my machine number. And that's the number I told you to write from page 7, so I'm going to install my machine number. And be sure you're accurate, okay? I usually look at it a couple of times to make sure I'm right. Now, on my little card, on the back of my card, Darren will show you on the back of the card, there was a special certification number. Right. That is covered in silver. You need to scratch it off with a coin. I borrowed a penny from Darren, and I scratched it off already. Oh, yeah. I need that back. I will give it to you back. <laughs> okay? So now it wants to know my activation code. So I need to type in these letters that are on the back here. And this will only work with this particular uh, machine number now because we're activating them together. Yeah, I'll do that. I'm saying... And again, double check everything to make sure you've entered it correctly. All right, so now we're going to say, get the key. And it's given me a number now. And my certified number to go with these two numbers is 916-909-59. Correct, Darren? That is correct, Kathy. Okay, thank you. So I'm going to close off this Oops, page. Okay. And I'm going to come into my settings. Silent. Excuse me? Oh, did I hit the camera? No. Go to page 7 again. And now I'm going to tell it I want to certify kit 1. What am I doing wrong? Say okay. next. Uh, this machine was never certified for kit one. Um, oh, maybe not. Oh, so we have to update it first. Oh, maybe. Okay, hold yep. one second. Sorry, folks. Let me see if I have to go back and put this in. If you have it on a USB, what you're going to do, plug in the USB, turn off your machine. These are hold. some crucial steps. So <laughs> we've, we've downloaded the upgrade onto a blank USB stick. You a do, clear blank one. You mm -hmm. want to make sure it's like a brand new USB stick or with basically nothing on it. Um, you download it to a stick since we're not doing it wirelessly. And now Kathy has that update on the stick. And so she's holding the needle threader down. Let me um, back up here. It's going to be hard to see both. Hold the needle holding threader. Holding that needle threader button. Uh -huh. I've installed the USB in the top USB port. Hold down the needle threader as I turn it back on. And she's got the needle threader button still held. And let go. And now it's asking me, where is this that you want to load? Well, I'm going to touch the first USB. And then it's asking, do you want to load this? We're going to say yes. And this is where... Kathy, go ahead and do your dance now. This is where Kathy <laughs> does her, her special dance, waiting for it to load. 
Oh, um, one thing though that's not as funny as Darren, but I was playing on the, the different machines, the one to the two. And there are some other features that aren't even listed on the packaging or the upgrade. Um, especially in design centers, there's a couple of shortcuts that really make it nice. And we'll go over those when we get to playing with the uh, machines in the upgrade and design center class. One of the things, if you've ever had a class on design center, I usually tell everybody, change your stitch before you scan anything. If you don't, it automatically defaults to a satin stitch and 99% of the time it will tell you the design is too complicated because it can't read all those satin stitches. An XP1 or Dream, then you had to return, clear it off and start over, change the stitch type and then rescan. On the XP2 and the XP1 with the upgrade, all you have to do is touch at the bottom where it shows you the picture of the satin stitch it'll let you change it from right there with, without undoing your scanning. So I think that's really fun. That's a really good feature. That's one of the new uh, upgrade features on the XP2 upgrade that we're doing here. Okay. I um, mean, Kathy is going to do classes on it, so she'll show you. I'm going to put this on the magnifier. Okay, go ahead and put that on, Darren. That show little how it... knob right there goes into... Kathy taught me how to put that on there. <laughs> You put it into that hole right here on the top, and then you lower down your magnifiers. Um, and so when you're sitting there at your machine, you can see quite some magnification, which is hard to show you here, but um, there's that. And Kathy, if you would lift up the first lens. Oh, the first one? Yep. Yes. So you can see it's not there as it magnified. Look at that. Now, second one. No, I have to bring it down. Yeah, if you want it to be extra magnified, you bring it down. Mm -hmm. And then when you want to bring it away, you just... <laughs> Don't throw it <laughs> Don't off, Darren. <laughs> you just bought it. <laughs> that okay, one this, belongs to Darren. This one's mine. I'm trying to hold it on and hold the camera. Okay, so you have to flip it over and there flip it go. up and away. <laughs> there, <Okay>. it <laughs> there it goes, up and away. That's perfect. So that's exciting, and it does have the couching um, guides on it, so that's kind of cool. Because this is going in the same spot as last year's upgrade um, for the couching. Very good. One thing, too, on the new sashing hoop. Where did we set that, Darren? That's right here. Okay. Um, oh, can I use this one or this one? Which um, one should I? You can use this one. Okay. On the new couching, the sashing hoop. What's really cool about it is it's going to be different than the regular magnetic hoops because you have all these eight magnets. You take all of them off but two. They slide with your fabric up here and then you put your magnets back down or either way you want to slide it. But you don't have to undo any thing. And this just helps you lift off each magnet. Like a little prior thing here. Okay, that they're, comes with it. They're so strong that we were like, oh boy, they're... How are they going to come off of there? Mm -hmm. You got a tool. But so you don't have to take out your fabric at all. It just slides with the magnets. So the magnets that were down here will now be down here, and then you put your new magnets on, which really is fun. As soon as Darren lets me have one, I'll take it home and play. But you know, but I have to wait. I never get first. first. <laughs> I never get it first. Customers first, okay? Kathy, look at upgrade complete. Yay! And do not touch your machine or do anything else until the upgrade's complete. Then yeah, I'm going to... That, that is pretty crucial. You don't want to... Interrupt it. it. Off or mm -mm. get it interrupted. Make sure you do... You have the time to make sure it's totally upgraded before you do anything. Okay, I'm going to turn it off. Take my stick out. Turn it back on. Wait for the pretty song. I think we have the song turned off. Oh. You sing, Darren. La, la, la. <laughs> All right. So let's go to settings again. Oh, wait, it's going to cycle. The magnifier comes with this cool little case, too. Keep it protected. Yes. When you come Keep it to clean and nice. The class. Okay, settings, page seven. 
Now it says 3.04 and there it is so I can upgrade kit 2. So I'm going to say certification, kit 2. Slow down. <laughs> oh, <coughs> say normal. The other one was uh, wireless. Yes. So we're doing do this it. through the stick. To do wireless. And it's easy to do wireless, but if you're not comfortable with it, this works just as well. So we're going to... Um, nine one six nine zero nine five nine. Thank you, Darren. Okay, nine one six nine zero nine five nine and say set. If you make a mistake, the C is to clear out the number and then you can add the correct one. So make sure that is correct, double check. I do every time I always double check everything. Say set. Certification was successful. Please restart the machine. Turn it off. Turn it on. Now our XP1 Lumineer is an XP2. Exactly. And I like to check it with something that I know that was an upgrade just to make sure it took all the functions. So we'll let it get its to cycle. And as you know, you can call and ask us questions on how to do this. You can come in the store, set up a time, and we can help you do it. We just wanted to put this out there so that you can see how easy it is to do from your house. That way you don't have to be without your machine at all or schedule a time. You can just get it done. And those of you that have my email, you're always welcome to email me. I answer every night if you have any questions or concerns loading this. Okay, so now I'm going to go to embroidery, <coughs> excuse me, quilting, and there it is, because the sashing is one of, I mean, the hexagon sashing is the newest feature on the XP2, so that's a way I can check to make sure all the upgrades have come in. The other one is the two-color sashing, so it's good. It's good to go. It's officially updated. Updated, updated too. You. So you can have a lot of fun with it now. If you have questions, just let us know. We'll be glad to help you. Until next time, this is Darren and Kathy. See you later. Bye. Here's your penny, Darren. Oh, thank you, Kathy. <laughs>